Hey guys, my name is Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So uh, yesterday we ended up cutting our hay field for the first time. So in a couple more days we're going to be baling hay and all of those bales of hay are going to be stored up here in our hay loft right here. Um, and um, I still had quite a few bales left over from last year that was stacked up here. And this is really the only place that I can back the hay wagon in here and unload. So I took all of the bales that were back here and I stacked them on that other side. Ended up with a total of 71 bales left over from last year. And of course, right now I'm not really feeding a lot of hay. So, you know, that's just a lot of extra hay that I need to probably sell. And then everything here in a couple days, the first cutting of hay, when we, we bring all those in here, that first cutting will probably fill up this whole section. We'll have this all full of hay. So the whole barn's gonna be full of hay here in a couple days. So definitely gonna have to try to get this sold to make room for the next couple cuttings. But uh, got this all ready. I think it's all cleaned up and good to go now. So the next thing we're gonna do today is the weather. You're always trying to beat the weather when you're cutting hay. And here in a couple days, the chance of rain is going up. And then the next day after that, there's a real good chance of rain. So um, today we're gonna try to ted the hay. Uh, try to do it as gently as possible, but try to mix the hay up and I'll try to get it to dry quicker. So hopefully we can get it baled before the rain comes. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. We're gonna go get out the hay tetter and the tractor and get everything ready. So the tires come off the rim. It was that way when I bought it. I put some slime in it to keep it from leaking. Can you tell? Pretty messy right now. But we're gonna try to get this back on the rim and aired up. I just need to eventually order a new tire for this thing. So we're gonna use the ratchet strap method. We're gonna wrap a ratchet strap around the center of this tire, tighten it up. Try to get the bead against the rim. Need to find me a scrap piece of wood to use to hold this up. Probably about 26 inches long. Wouldn't get it. Hopefully we can get this to seal. Oh yeah, look at that, popped right out. Alright. So we got the hay tether all greased up, got the tire back on the rim and inflated. So I think we're ready to go and Ted the hayfield now. So uh, while we're doing this, we're gonna try to run the engine on the Alice Chalmers as slow as possible so the PTO runs slower. And we want to Ted the hay as, as easy as possible. We wanna be able to get the hay to turn over and mix up, but try not to tear up all the alfalfa. So we're gonna try to take it as easy as we can. I haven't tried Tedding with the Alice yet and I'm hoping that it's gonna be able to spin this a lot slower. So let's go ahead and try it out. So the hay is starting to dry. It's still nice and soft. 
the alfalfa, it isn't, it's still somewhat soft. It's not like uh, brittle. I don't think we're going to knock the leaves off of it. Um, of course, on the underside, you can see it still hasn't dried on the underside. So we're going to try to turn that over to get that side to dry. And the alfalfa, I know earlier this year I showed the alfalfa had a ton of, of bug damage. And the bugs must have went away or something because it kind of grew out of it. And the alfalfa all looked real good by the time we finally cut it. So uh, I think this is still going to turn out to be pretty good hay this year. A lot better, hopefully this will be a lot better than our first cutting last year. So we got the hay field all tedded now. We stirred up, you know, all that hay, got it mixed up. It helped fluff it up a little bit so it's not laying flat on the ground like it was. It's a little more fluffy so the air can get underneath it, help it dry a little bit quicker. So I checked the weather before I came out here and they've moved the rain forecast forward. So there's actually a chance of rain tomorrow and the next day, but it's like the scattered thunderstorm. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like rolling the dice. You might get a little bit of rain, you might not. So we're gonna have to keep our eye on it. As soon as it's dry enough, we'll try to get this bailed up. Well, I think that's it for today, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tether and the tractor back up and uh, go inside, get a drink of tea and cool down. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. The cicadas are really loud right here. You won't be able to see it, but man, they're just swarming all through these walnut trees.
Wow, that's loud.